part of Miller Street in Utica is shut down today and all for a good cause. News Channel 2's Gary Libertor got through the barricade to find out what exactly was going on. On Miller Street today, everyone has a job to do. We have painters. I'm going to say it's bubbly looking. Carpenters, insulators, and your electricians. Yes, every trade needed to build a home, or in this case, rebuild a home, is right here. It's a widespread community outpouring uh, of donations of time, materials, uh, all that type of stuff. And everything you see has been donated by area companies. This is not my typical type of uh, type of thing, but uh, you know, every, everybody can help. You know, you can hold up some sheetrock or. You know, I'm good at that. <laughs> Pastor Mike Cervello of Redeemer Church in North Utica has done a lot to welcome refugees into our community. Earlier this summer, the church held its first annual Redeemer Cup, uniting local refugees from various countries. This weekend, the church is helping a Burmese family by giving them basically a brand new home. It's rooted in a uh, in the philosophy that the Bible says, I was a stranger, Jesus said this, I was a stranger and you welcomed me in. And uh, we recognize that really, uh, biblically speaking, that Utica is a home of a lot of strangers, people that are coming that are not uh, native to the United States. One of the members of Redeemer Church owns his own construction company, and he and his workers are among the many donating their time. The Bible commands us to do the work of the ministry, and in order for you to do the work of the ministry, you have to come out here and physically work. and help other people. Many of the companies that were approached to help are not members of Redeemer Church, but wanted to help anyway. It's like a barn raising. You, you have a member of the community that needs some help, so we all come in and, and, and bulk labor. We throw a bunch of labor at it. We get tons of stuff done in a 24-hour period, and then it just needs a little bit of cleanup work to finish it up. In Utica, Gary Libertor, News Channel 2.